Hi everyone, my name is Iko Yamoto. How are you doing? Right, a continuation from the last episode. First of all, we are going to attach the ornamental part to the main body, and then later on, we will decorate them. Well, let's get started. There are lots of seam lines caused by the joint section of the mold parts. So we'll get rid of this with a tool like this. A main body. And these ornamental parts. Time for attaching these pieces to the main body. What I'm going to use are this carving tool, a slip trailer, a needle tool, and a wet sponge. Okay, first I'm gonna use this carving tool to scratch the joints over up with to create rough surface so that each part will stick well and stay on the main body securely. And apply some slip over these surfaces, just like you do with the glue. And stick it on. And then add some extra slip around the joint to make it look nicer. Right, here is something important to note. During the firing process, the work is going to shrink. And after the second high temperature firing, you will see your work with the size of roughly 15% smaller than what it is now. And each of these ornamental parts has got air inside. Therefore, when the shrinking occurs during the firing process, the air inside will be compressed and they will explode inside the kiln. So what I'm gonna do is to create a tiny hole about the lower area of these ornamental parts so that air will be able to escape during the shrinkage. Okay, now that all the ornamental parts have been attached, so we're gonna move on to the decorations. I'm going to use, um, again, this slip trailer to create some dots over the surface.
And once they become dry, I apply another dot on the dot to pile up. This is exactly the same technique I'm showing to create sea urchin container with my previous episode number 19B. So if you have time, please visit and have a look. Okay, I think they look good enough. I piled up the dots eight times in total for each zone. Right, this is it for today. This pop of flower bath will be soon available with my online shop. So if you are thinking about special present for your special person, please visit my website www.ikko.space. Thank you very much for watching everybody and I'll see you soon.